Good morning and happy Sunday and welcome to Never Alone Christian Center. I'm your pastor, Pastor K. Don't go far. Right after these few announcements, we're going to jump right back into our series on moving forward wounded. Let's go. Are you in need of counseling? It's okay. Let's talk. Visit our website and send us an email at info at neveralonecc.org and set up a counseling session today with Pastor Kay and Mrs. Wiley. Every vision and mission requires the financial support of its partners and those invested in the cause. Today, we thank you in advance for your financial support of Never Alone Christian Center. Good morning once again, and welcome to Never Alone Christian Center. I hope you guys' heart and minds are ready because I'm excited to get back into our series on moving forward wounded. So let's pick up right in our foundational scripture, then we're going to pray and we're going to get into our new information today. Our foundational scripture is coming out of the book of Jeremiah chapter 30 verse 17. And it says, but I will restore you to health and heal your wounds, declares the Lord. Let's pray. Father God, in the name of Jesus, we thank you for the opportunity to glorify your holy and your righteous name. We thank you for the presence of your Holy Spirit. We thank you for the power and anointing that is here with us today. We are honored and grateful for the gift, talents, and abilities that you have bestowed upon us. We thank you for the gift and the call to seek and save those who are lost, baptizing them in the name of the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Forgive us, God. Wash us and cleanse us. And it's in Jesus Christ's holy name we do pray and give thanks. Amen and amen. So once again, several weeks ago, we began our teaching on moving forward wounded. And I want, just, I want to just pick up where we left off in this particular teaching because last week we had Father's Day and we uh, had a teaching on that particular day. But I want to get our juices back flowing into this particular series because I know and I understand that there are many people, to include myself, who have been wounded in life through various situations and circumstances. And we established that the purpose of this teaching is to remind us that our Christian journey is not void of wounds. In other words, it is foolish to believe that we're going to live a life without any bumps and bruises. Even with Jesus Christ as our Lord and our Savior and being filled with the Spirit of God, knowing the Word of God, attending a Bible-believing, Bible-teaching church, praying, fasting, tithing, and all things such like, we still are going to endure challenges in life. We established this particular teaching has four objectives. And the week before last, we covered objective number one, which was moving forward wounded. It's based upon God's promises in his word. And we broke down that particular teaching, establishing the various promises that God has given us in his word that help us to move forward wounded. And today, we're gonna look at our objective number two, which is moving forward wounded is based on God's faithfulness. And the journey, or the goal rather, <clears throat> of this particular teaching is to continue the journey. There will be hurdles, there will be drama, there will be relationship issues, there will be issues that come along with our children or our spouses, there may be issues that come in our church or on our job or wherever we find ourselves. But nevertheless, we must continue the journey. All right. So let's jump into our new information today. And if this is your first time streaming with us here at Never Alone Christian Center, I am a teacher. All right. There may be times when we shout. There may be times when we get super excited. But at the end of the day, it's my goal and my desire to teach us principles, teach us 
a way that Christ has desired for us to live this Christian life based upon his word. Shouting and, and, and things such like are marvelous parts of the Christian church. And I love when, when the drums get going and the organ get going and all those things get going. But when we come down from that praise, what have we learned? What have we learned that is established in our lives and principle that we can use to grow and develop? Okay, so our objective number two today and moving forward wounded is moving forward wounded is based on the faithfulness of God. Lamentations chapter three, verse 22 through 24. Let me read it to you. It says, because of the Lord's great love, we are not consumed for his compassions never fail. They are new every morning. Great is your faithfulness. It is a marvelous place to be when we realize that life truly is a grain of sand on the shoreline of time. And the longer that I am blessed to breathe the breath of life, the more I realize it's the faithfulness of God to his word that allows us to continue on this journey called life. God alone is the source of all things. Whether we choose to believe it or not, there is a God. And we call him Jesus Christ, the righteous. He alone is the source of all things. He alone is the power behind all gifts, talents, and abilities. Therefore, it is not up to me or anybody in the body of Christ to take our gifts, talents, and abilities and to abuse them and to make it seem as if we own them or to sell them or to market them because they all belong to God. God alone is the reason evil has not completely destroyed the planet Earth. He alone is joy, love, and he is the strength that we must depend on in order to move forward. Wounded. It's his faithfulness. Listen to me. Challenges come into our lives issues arise in our lives and sometimes we do not even see a way out it's as if we're traveling through a desert storm and the wind and the sand is blowing and there's no hope for us we feel as if there's no end to the problem there's no end to our situation but i'm here to let you know that his faithfulness to his word and we as his children he is obligated to help us get through the storm when we've been hurt and we've been broken and we're trying to find that exit we're trying to find that escape route we're trying to find that path that will give us our joy back our love back and we're trying to get there that is the time when we have to call out his name and say Jesus I know you're there I know you hear my prayer you hear my call I know you see my tears I know you see my hurt and my pain I need your help I'm wounded God but I'm still in the fight. I'm still in the fight. As we continue with this teaching, there are three things that I want us to keep in mind for today's teaching. Three things to keep in mind, or even throughout this series. Because I think it's important to realize that number one, it happened. Whatever broke you or broke us it happened whether it was the divorce 
when it was the loss of a mother, a father, a friend, a child. It happened. Listen to me. We must get out of the space of denial. In order to move forward wounded, we have to acknowledge that whatever it was that took us to the place where we are that caused scars in our lives, we have to say it happened. And sometimes that's the hardest thing to do is just to acknowledge it happened. The second thing I want us to keep in mind as we travel through this particular teaching on moving forward wounded is it's not over. It's not over. As long as we have life, then it's not over. As long as we have life, we can get through the storms. As long as we have life, we can fight through the circumstances. And you say, well, Pastor K, what if I do not desire to fight anymore? Then I stand with you today to encourage you to say, keep fighting because as long as you have life, it's not over. It's an opportunity for restoration. It's an opportunity for recovery. It's an opportunity for another open door. But you have to say first, it happened. Second, you have to acknowledge that it's not over yet. You have to tell the devil that I'm going to keep fighting. I am going to keep pushing forward. I'm going to keep standing on God's word. I'm going to keep depending on the spirit of God. Why? Because as long as we have life, it's not over. And the third thing I want us to keep in mind with this particular teaching is it gets better. It will get better. You say, well, Pastor K, I, I don't see where it's going to get better. Well, just like any wound, any cut, any scar, it has to go through a process of healing. It has to go through a process of recovery. It has to go through a process of rehabilitation. Whatever the situation is, there is a process. It's not overnight, but it gets better. Moving forward wounded, it happened. It's not over, it, get, it gets better. All right. So today we're looking at, at our objective number two. Moving forward, wounded is based on the faithfulness of God. When we say the word faithful or God's faithfulness, what we're simply saying is Jesus is trustworthy. Because of this fact, letter A, God's faithfulness allows us to put complete trust in him. Because he's trustworthy, because he's faithful, we can put complete trust in him. The Lord has never told any of my secrets. The conversations that I have with him are candid. Though he knows all things, I still have open dialogue with him and I talk to him as, he, as if he's my best friend. Not only my confidant, my Lord and my Savior, but I remind him that Father, I am not perfect and I will make mistakes, but nevertheless, your faithfulness allows me to move forward. Your faithfulness, again, let her aim, allows us to put complete trust in him. Do we trust God? Proverbs 3, 5 says, trust in the Lord with all your heart and lean not to your own understanding. Trust in the Lord with all your heart and lean not to your own understanding. Do we trust that he's going to bring us out? of our wounded situations? Do we trust he's gonna bring us out of our difficult situations that we have found ourselves in? Do we lean on him? And trust me, we're not gonna always understand why. We're not gonna understand how he's gonna get us out. But at the end of the day, his faithfulness to his word causes us 
to trust him. Years ago when God called me to preach, I didn't understand. And even today, I know the call is there and the purpose is there. And I, I do what it is that he asked me to do, but I don't understand all the things he's asked me to do. I don't understand the complete path. I see the vision, but how I may get there, I don't know. I take the steps forward day by day. When you're wounded and you're hurt and you're broken, you have to trust Every day, step by step, step by step, step by step, and say, God, your faithfulness, your trustworthiness allows me to move forward. This can be challenging, especially when we've been wounded, because we often ask the question, how, God? Do I move forward? How do I move forward after separation? How do I move forward after the loss of a child? How do I move forward after the loss of my mom or my dad or my grandma? How do I move forward after I lost my job? How do I move forward after I lost my car or my house? How do I move forward after I've been robbed or I've been raped, I've been sexually assaulted? How, God, I'm wounded, how do I do it? You have to trust. You have to trust in his word and lean not to his own understanding. And all things being equal, you may need therapy. You may need counseling. You may need guidance. You may need resources. Don't be foolish to say, I'm just going to wait on the Lord. Well, you can keep on waiting. And God's going to send all these resources and avenues your way all this wisdom your way and you're going to continue to let it pass you by then you're going to be 30 40 50 still broken because you took, didn't take advantage of any of the things that God put in your life to help you move forward we have to believe that God knows what's going to happen next so because he's already in my tomorrow, he's already in my next year, I can say, God, help me get through today because you already know what's going to happen tomorrow. God's faithfulness allows us to put complete trust in him in order to move forward, won't it? That's our letter A, letter B. God's faithfulness allows us to follow him without fear. Listen, when you've been hurt, you've been broken, you've been wounded, you've been scarred, you've been talked about, you've been chastised up and down. No one seems to be supporting you. Always something going on in your life. Always a storm. Feels like it's never a sunny day. You have to trust him without fear. You have to say, God, all of these things that happened to me, they must be happening for a reason. Now, they could be happening because you're not doing anything that God asked you to do. It's a possibility that your lack of obedience to his word and obedience to his, to his direction and instructions are causing things to falter in your life. Perhaps if we would just do the simple things such as read the word of God occasionally, potentially pray occasionally, do what he is that he asks us to do, knowing that we're not going to be perfect, possibility that some of those wounds would begin to heal by virtue of just being obedient. When you are cut and you're wounded, and you apply no ointment, you don't put a band-aid on, it takes longer for that scar to heal. Will it heal? Yes. But how many times will that scar keep opening? But if you just apply a little bit of the, the uh, ointment of the Lord, a little bit of band-aid of the Holy Spirit, maybe possibly that wound would heal a bit faster. God's faithfulness allows us to follow him without fear. It's so easy to pull 
away from the Lord after you've been wounded. It's so easy to say, God, you, you were supposed to have my back and I still failed. God, you were supposed to have my back and my children still died. God, you were supposed to have my back and I still lost that job. God, you were supposed to have my back and I still lost my house. My wife still left. My husband still left. God, you were supposed to have my back. Where were you, God? The same place he was when you started that job. The same place he was when you decided to get married. The same place you were when you had that child. He has not changed position, but life happens. Stuff happens happens situations happens why because there's a devil out there and he desires to destroy the children of god he desires to utilize sin as a distraction to tear us down it's easy to say god i'm pulling back from you because when i needed you you wasn't there no 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 he was there he was there Isaiah 41.10 says, so do not fear, for I am with you. Do not be dismayed, for I am your God. I will strengthen you and help you. I will uphold you with my righteous right hand. We're going to stop right there. We're going to pick up next week. Time flies when you're having fun. Listen. God's faithfulness is what helps us move forward when we're wounded. It's not in us. It's not in our strength. It's not in our power. We don't have the capacity to fight when we're wounded without the strength of God. When David stood against Goliath, it was the strength of God behind the rock that slew Goliath and caused him to fall. When you're wounded, it's the strength of God that heals us. When you want to fall, when you feel like you've faltered and you feel like there's no area of recovery, it's his refuge, his pavilion of love, hope, and joy that covers us and shields us from the rays of the world that beat down on our lives. It's God alone and His faithfulness. Let's pray. Father God, in the name of Jesus, first of all, if there are those out there who are unsaved, this prayer is specifically for those who are unsaved. That is where the state of the church is right now. Salvation, salvation, salvation. God save your people. You'll teach them, guide them, and instruct them as we go. But salvation, salvation, salvation come upon thee this day. If you're unsaved, meaning you don't have a Lord and Savior, we call him Jesus Christ the righteous. If you're streaming this right now, you feel his presence. His name is Jesus. The Spirit of God right now is ministering to your heart and he's ready to save you. Repeat after me, Father in the name of Jesus, forgive me for I am a sinner as we all are. Save me, become my Lord, become my master and I will call you Jesus Christ the righteous. Thank you for my salvation and Father right now I ask that you feel me with the Holy Spirit, that I might have power to disassemble everything contrary to the will of God. In Jesus' name, amen. Now, if you have repeated that prayer, we believe that you are saved, and not only saved, you're now filled with the Spirit of God. The next step in your salvation is you need to find a Bible-believing, Bible-teaching church that's going to teach you the Word of God. Here at Never Alone Christian Center, we're online only at this point. We will continue to teach you the word of God. But, at, but if you're in a location where there are churches teaching the word of God, everything should line up with scripture. Take time, find a location and receive the word of God. We love you. God bless you. 
We'll see you again next Sunday at Never Alone Christian Center. Let's go.